What is going on guys and welcome to episode 21 of the Crystal Palace career mode. Getting far into this series now, we're starting to make some decent progress. And in this episode I bring you five more games in the Barclays Premier League. Quite big games as well. We got team, we got we got Liverpool, we've got Arsenal, we've got uh, Manchester United and also games against Everton and also a team who I can't remember for some reason. Uh, it'll come to me at some point, I can guarantee that. Uh, you'll see me through the menus here, just getting ready for my uh, first game in the league. I decided to swap out Giroud for Dwight Gale because of his uh, Dwight Gale's form. Uh, Gale is doing really well for me right now, scoring a lot of goals actually, and it's considering he's only 72 rated, he is doing uh, pretty well. But we start this game with a game at Selhurst Park up against Liverpool, who in this crew mode this season aren't doing that well. They're actually near the bottom of the table, uh, but they do have some decent players. They do play a bit of a young side here. Uh, Punching plays with Dwight Gale here, and he just takes a shot. It just does get saved, and it was a quite poor game after that because it actually ends nil-nil. Uh, decent result in a way. Liverpool defended really well, and also they had a lot of pace going forward, which I was able to defend well, quite well. Uh, we're going to go to Goodison Park to play Everton. So we're playing both the Merseyside teams, like back to back. Uh, very difficult game. This Everton has some really, really good players. They get a bit of luck here for the first goal of the game. Darren gets taking a shot. It falls to Rudikone who gets a shot off the, off the crossbar, Gibson's there to put it in. Five minutes in, I'm 1-0 down, thanks to it. Well, it's a lucky goal in the end. Uh, the header off the crossbar after a deflected uh, like pass, and it just became a bit game of luck, really, and you'll see from the replay how really lucky it is. You know, going for the uh, little ball inside, I, I slide tackle really well, and then from that point, I couldn't really do much. Like I can blame Spironi here, but not for coming out and not claiming the ball, but at the end of the day, my defence didn't clear it, so in the, in the end, it's probably their fault as well. John Stones, of course, playing against his former team. But then, right into the 20, 20th minute, Sacco displaces the defender, takes his early cross in towards Dwight Gale, who wh whips in a beautiful goal right there. Very similar to the goal he scored in a game in the previous episode, I think it was against Stoke, where the ball was chipped through to him and a first time volley with his right foot into the near post was but in. And it's a great goal. Dwight Gale carrying on his great scoring streak, goalkeeper should probably be getting the ball off the cross but he doesn't going into the second half here Balas is going to cut inside he's also going to take out all the defenders going to whip in a ball all the way over to Batshuayi who just slots it in simple pass simple setup and Batshuayi scores once again Giroud finding it hard to get into the team when both strikers are scoring goals in Batshuayi and Dwight Gale really good to see strikers actually scoring goals particularly after last season with Batshuayi's very poor form and not having much of a uh, competition. We do win the game 2-1, a fantastic result at Goodison Park. Everton having some really good players. And then we go into the next game up against Arsenal, who, if you remember last season in both games, scored very early on against me, which was always just so uh, disheartening. But in this time, 15 minutes in, it's us that actually score first. Batshuayi somehow managed to put the ball into the back of the net, despite being facing away from the goal. And somehow he managed to turn out and put some a decent shot in at the near post. The keeper should be saving. I completely get through two defenders here with one pass. He takes a turn. Sawyer gives it to Batshuayi who cuts inside and just puts it in to the net. It's a poor goalkeeping choice from Petr Cech right there. But then later into, later into the first half, Batshuayi cut inside. Puts a wicked ball in to John Stones who's somewhere there. And it ends up being fumbled around in the box until it's an own goal from Petr Cech. Uh, it was going in anyway, and the keeper managed to cl clear it only into the path of himself, and I think it's a bit of a glitch with the defender as well. But I take it 2-0 up, but until late on into the first half, when Sanchez is given a chance to put it into the back of the net, and you know, Alexi Sanchez, he's not going to miss from there. Could have gone into half-time 2-0 up, but I was still winning, so I still felt pretty confident. But I knew in the second half it was going to be hard to defend against the Arsenal team, which can break you down with just two passes. They get a corner in here and they score one of the most bullshit goals, I'm going to say the word. It is an absolutely tra tragic goal to concede. Sanchez scores a header from the edge of the box. Ball gets whipped in right here, right towards the edge of the box where Sanchez is waiting. He gets above two defenders despite being pretty small. He puts it into the back of the net with his head. And I'm just, th I'm just there sitting, I pretty much screamed, how the hell did he pull that off? So I dropped, I dropped two points there, that's definitely two points dropped after a 2-2 draw. We then head into the next game at Old Trafford, and not a game I wanted to play after drawing against Arsenal after being 2-0 up. And it gets off to a really bad start in about the 30 minute mark, 
Wilson being given a chance here to put it into the net. Again, big teams playing like lower rated players against me. Kind of taking a bit of an insult to that. But anyway, Wilson puts it into the back of the net, meaning we are 1-0 down at Old Trafford. And that is not a good thing to be in a situation, seeing as how Man United have a really, really good defence. They do get me lucky with the deflection as well. Then to the second half, I try and clear the ball here very poorly. It falls to Luke Shaw, who finds Fellaini, who just tucks it away. And I can be fully blamed for that goal because I did not do my job as a defender and clear it. Maran Fellaini with his afro there, and also with the captain seeing this game. Tucking it away, 51 minutes in, so just as the second half starts. Very poor clearance for me, I should have just booted it. And then Fellaini has a simple job of putting it into the back of the net. Very, very poor performance from me in this game. But we do manage to get a goal back here. Dwight Gale running through the defence. He, e he ends up cutting inside completely. Completely taking all the defenders. Takes a shot. It falls to Batshuayi. And Batshuayi scores once again. 84 minutes in. I thought the comeback was going to be on at this point. Batshuayi doing really well to get himself another goal. So we're only 2-1 down at this point. So I, th I thought, yeah, we could probably come back, get a second goal. And be the uh, Arsenal <laughs> like the game, but in reverse. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that second goal. I think I hit the post like three times in a one attack, which was kind of annoying, but we do lose the game. I, I was kind of disheartened, but at the end of the day, I moved on. There we go into the last game of the episode up against Spurs. Obviously, a team I used uh, last uh, career mode in FIFA 15. I uh, love their team. They have some really good players. Signed Deli Ali from them in this career mode. And they get an absolutely world class goal here, 15 minutes in. I believe it's Christian Eriksen who gets the shot away. Oh, no, it's not actually. I remember now. It's Alex Pritchard, of all people. Alex Pritchard, the youngster who is quite highly rated in real life, like people think he's going to be really good in future. I hope he is, because if he scores goals like this, I'll take him every day of the week. This was an insane goal, and for some reason, the uh, like this sort of cut scenes afterwards take longer than the actual goal. But Alex Pritchard, the youngster being played in this game, gets the ball after a poor clearance from me again. I defensively not doing well. I thought that was a foul to be honest, but Pritchard gets the chance, and it's a wicked goal into the top right corner and from that point on Tottenham for some reason even though they're playing at home went defensive and for the rest of the game I couldn't break them down. Lost 1-0, lost losing two games in a row at the end and you'll see we're currently the league table we're currently sixth not doing as well as I wanted to. Uh, we're on 31 points we are still well in within reach of a top four spot and possibly even top three but I was hoping for maybe a title push but that does like it's not going to happen. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Christopher High's Career Mode. The next one will be up very, very soon. I'm going to try and record it very quickly. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in another video.